Okay, we're, we're leaving Highway 12 at Cokedale. You come about eight, nine miles west out of Trinidad on Highway 12, this is Highway 12. Uh, we're going on a county road 57.7. So take a right, right before the bridge. And there's, if you go that way, you'll be at the back end. That's the back entrance to Trinidad Lake. And Fisher's Peak's right over there. Trinidad's behind me. So I'll be showing the drive as we go up here to the property. As we go up, uh, we call this Bon Carbo Canyon. And I'll be giving clips as we go up. So this is the old mining town of Cokedale. Coal mining town. They used to make coking, coking coal for to ship up to Pueblo, Colorado to make steel for World War One, World War Two. And they've got the, the big mine going again. And they only do that when we're gonna go to war. Hasn't been open for years. Pretty length of amount of time, decades. Okay, we're still driving up Bon Carbo Road or County Road 57.7. And there's pavement a good ways all the way to within a mile of the property. There's a Frisbee golf course basket. There's another one. And this uh, Frisbee golf course goes all through these, these hills on this 40 acres. Um, actually, professionals come here because it's not on the circuit. And it's, it's, it's popular. Another basket. There's a basket behind the trees right there. So in this area, from this property or anywhere, you're gonna be 20 minutes to Trinidad or 20, 30 minutes or less to a lot of public lands as well. And you can head, keep going up Highway 12 to the mountain lakes and public, land, public lands up there on, in the mountains. We've come about four miles up now. We're about a, a mile and a half past the Frisbee course. Still driving up basically north, northwest up um, Bon Carbo Canyon or County Road 57.7. Four and a half mile marker, you're gonna start seeing the West Spanish Peak in the background. It's bigger than what the video is showing. I focused. It's pretty driving up. Right, right before we get to the old town of Bon Carbo, where the mailboxes are at for Bon Carbo, there's the one of the Spanish peaks, or the Stonewall Fire Department, Volunteer Fire Department, is right there. That's going to be within about four miles of the property itself, which is nice. And they just paved this portion right behind me at the fire department is where the uh, pavement stopped. And now there's pavement going within, I don't know, a mile and a half, mile and three quarters of the property. There's the mailboxes. Those are mailboxes for Bon Carbo. FedEx and UPS will deliver right to your property. So we're about three miles. And back there where I showed the mailboxes, you stay left. If you go right, you'll be on dirt road over there. Which, if you take that road, It'll eventually wind you back down to I-25 through the hills. There's lots of roads going all through these hills, and I, I've got maps of the county that has all the roads on it with the numbers. When we got here, it was only two tracks for all these roads 25 years ago. I set my odometer from Highway 12 so I could get a good idea of how far the property is off of Highway 12 in Cokedale, Colorado. So at about 7.7 .7 miles from Cokedale, we take a ride on to 47.5. The other, the other sign is it, the Spanish Peaks Wildlife Area, about 2,700 acres, is just oh, about 3-4 miles that direction if we would have kept going straight. And you can hike and hunt and it's a nice place to go. It's kind of in the center of the county. So we're going to be winding around here and going back over this hill. And there's two ways to get in this. We could have come in the back way by taking the right-hand road from those mailboxes I pointed out. 
and then come around the back side. We're gonna go, I don't know, we're gonna go this way. Okay, we took that right to get on the gravel road. You just stay right. That's a private drive that direction. That would be the only turn you might be confused about. And when we left the pavement, we were at 7.7 .7 miles. And you see telephone along the road. And right down here, we're going to be coming, coming to the property. Oh, there it is. There. No, no, that's not it. Yet. Roads are nice too. Okay. Here we go. Yep, this is it. Okay, we're at the. Um, as far as the map goes. We're at the southeastern corner. Right back there up on the hill is the southeastern corner. This is the old old road and there's a, there's a site already up there. Um, it's kind of small, but it could be easily cleared out a little bit. Uh, the road that we were thinking about doing was going through here and then off into the middle of the track. So I'm gonna go down to the other end and turn around and then come back and um, hike, hike well to the western boundary basically and then come back <laughs> okay, I just decided to go ahead and pull up I took an old RV off here the bear tore all up it's busted up in my field unfortunately but the RV was sitting right there they must have backed it in here. They made kind of a turnaround here, but the problem with this site is, is right back there, that, that pine tree, that's the southern boundary. The southeastern corner is right over there by the road. So, but there's a little fire ring right there. This could be easily, you know, made out a little bigger. But I'll show you where uh, we were looking at hiking. And Okay, so I'm, I'm basically standing on the southern boundary which will go over basically that that power pole corner will be over there and then straight west oops don't shoot up straight west that direction so this is on the property here this is where the rv was parked and uh i got a little road cut come here gabriel We already have a little bit of a road coming up in here, but you can see how uh, how gentle the land is. You do have some variation, but not too much. So I'm gonna walk the road frontage down a little bit, and then walk the way we were talking about bringing a road in, which is right along here, right along right below this hill right here, and then up in the track that direction. Okay, coming off of this entrance here. There's the drive, my truck's up in there. The bulk of the property would be west. That's the facing I'm, um, that's the direction I'm facing. This is kind of, this is north. So it curves around the front end of the property. The southeastern, south. Okay, the beginning of the driveway cuts right over there, so you come over this hill with a road and then go along here and there's a this nice flat area down here with these big giant pines. Uh, the opening area right up through there. My truck's what's right there. Through the trees. So we're about in the middle of the track right now. Well, no, we're further. Let's see. And we're about in the middle.
this would be a nice spot for a place right here. You overlook everything. Thin this out. Got a lot. There's some bigger pines in here. Now that'd be a good, great site. Got a little bit of sandstone. And then you got a gentle slope in here. You can see the meadowy areas. Got a lot of room all the way back up in there. Easy to walk or ride a four wheeler on or something. Horses. That's a big cedar. You don't see a lot of those around anymore. See, these are these nice big pines. This is where we were going to bring a road to in the site. I wanted to get the seller to do. But that right there would be perfect. Nice trees. Yeah, if you don't come in here, because we, we didn't want to knock down any of these trees. A place right there would be neat. <clears throat> so I'm heading south right now. And now I'm going to start heading west. And go to the back of the property. I want to hike up there. I think I will. It's kind of nice having the light snow we did. You can see the meadow areas with all the snow patches. Big trees are right in there. You can still see my truck through there. Point where I put a cabin is you just take a right hand turn from the truck and get to that nice point. Came to the top, we hiked up from here, from the east. You can't really tell on the camera. It's really nice in here. A lot of little parks and meadows down there, big pines. Big pines. You got some ridge line views over here. I think I can see the East Spanish Peak. Okay, this is getting the western part. It's still hiking west. Down in here is the valley area leading back around to where we came from. We just came up over this hill. There's another little valley here. Pretty neat. So we just came down this into the second draw. This is back east towards the road. Yeah, I can see the East Spanish Peak through there. Those trees. And then the land's gonna continue on and go up there, but you can see it's it's all mild up there too. This isn't gonna be difficult to fence. coming around so I'll walk down this other side yeah I'd probably make a road a lot further into this track maybe up into here because you're gonna start you get the good sunshine from this direction south and if you're up there or on that hill we crossed over if we're not too far out you're gonna see the some East Spanish Peaks. And 
and I see. Okay, I'm just gonna head back down. So I'm headed east again. East to uh, head back to my truck. Walk on the lower portion though. Nice pines. Okay, I'm getting close to the bottom. to the road. It's nice. Nice track. Okay. Head to the road and we are through. There's just a lot of possibilities, but I'd probably go out here to that point right over there. Make that a nice house spot. As that point overlooks that those valleys and up upland too. Especially once you thin out the trees. 